Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to PHP Basics. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to sort tables. So I've got this little table here pulling from my database, and I can either sort by the asset number or the serial number, and I can sort these uh, descending or ascending depending on uh, which direction it was previously going. Um, this comes in really handy when dealing with statistics or basically just any type of tabular data. Uh, so let's go ahead and first of all, we'll take a look at my uh, uh, PHP admin database. Uh, I have a database named inventory and then I've got a table called inventory list or INV list where I have some IDs, some computers, um, makes, model, serial numbers, end of life date, all that. The only thing we're worried about right now is we're going to look at the serial number and the asset number. Now here within PHP admin, you can see this functionality already exists with a little triangle there. Um, they've got the little uh, triangle going up and down and that's all based on CSS. Um, we're not going to mess with that, um, but we could. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our text editor. And the first thing I want to do is start my PHP tags and I'll connect to the database. Um, so we'll do my SQLI and that's going to equal new my SQLI. If you're not familiar with uh, my SQLI, uh, all the properties are stored uh, within one variable or one function. So we'll connect to local host and root, no password, and then inventory was my database name. Now this next part might get a little confusing. Uh, let's take a look back here again at the page itself. Notice up here at the top what's going on. Um, I have an order equals serial number and sort equals ascending. Whenever I click that again, this sort goes to descending and this changes as I click these. Now these are what are known as get variables. Okay, I have a video covering post variables and get variables on a form tutorial that I did earlier on and you can read about that or look at that in detail to get a better understanding of how get variables work. But that's what we're gonna be using for this instance. So the first thing that I'm going to do is check to see if those variables are set. Now they're a shorthand uh, conditional statements and there are also longhand. So I'm going to do the longhand version just so I don't confuse you. Um, so we're going to see if is set get order. And this is going to be the column that it orders it by, whether it's the serial number or the asset number. So if that order is set, then we're going to say order equals the value of that get variable order. And then of course we can um, we can do real escape strings on these as well. I'm not going to worry about it right now since we're just working with localhost. Else order equals a default value of something. So I'm going to call it asset number. So our default value is going to be asset number. All right, so let's jump out of that. Now let's try the other one. We're going to go if is set the get variable of sort. We're going to do the same thing. In fact, how about I just copy and paste this? We'll call sort and sort. And then else sort is just going to equal by default ascending. There we go. All right, so we're done with that for now. This is basically just saying, if the get variable is there, use it. If it's not, give it some sort of default value, either the asset number or ascending by default. All right, so now let's just go ahead and query our database. I'll just create a variable called result set. That's gonna equal MySQLI and we're gonna run a query. We're just gonna say select all from the inventory list or INV list. We're gonna order by that order variable. And then we're going to sort it by the sort variable. 
Now, typically we would say order by, or essentially what this is translating into is order by the asset number, and we're going to do it ascending, okay? All right, so I want to start a table because this is going to be tabular data. So what I can do is just echo out. Um, well, first of all, let's check for the number of rows. So I can say if the result set, result set num rows is greater than zero, then do whatever we want um, or else echo no records returned. All right, so all the magic's going to happen right in here. Now, the first thing that I want to do is start a table with some headers. Okay, so I'm going to echo a table. It's always weird doing HTML inside of echo um, because you have to be careful about your double quotes and your single quotes and all that jazz. Uh, so I'm going to say table border equals one. And since our echo is in double quotes, I'm going to put all of my uh, single quotes within. All right, so let's just do a, a table row, and then I'm going to do a table header of asset number. And then I'll also do another table header of serial number. There we go. All right, so everything else is going to happen in here, and I'm going to have to do some more PHP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out of this echo, and then I'm going to come back into it right here. There we go. And this is just so I can do some PHP without having to concatenate and all that good stuff. All right, so... Uh, the first thing that I want to do is get the uh, the results of that query into an array. So what I'll do is I'll say while rows equals result set fetch a sock, which is going to turn this into an associative array. We're going to say the asset number. We're going to grab the uh, asset numbers. So as long as it keeps finding this true as it goes through the lines of the database, it's going to take that particular result and turn it into a variable until it gets to the next row. We'll say rows asset number. And if you're unfamiliar with this, check out my how to display uh, MySQL data on your PHP page. Um, that's a very in-depth tutorial. Um, and it's gotten quite a few views. So uh, if you're not familiar with this process, please check that out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to the serial number equals rows SN is what I have mine. And we can take a look back here real quick at the uh, at the table header. So we've got uh, serial number is SN and then asset underscore num. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to echo these out. And the way I'm going to do that is within this while loop. So I'm going to echo, say tr asset num, and then serial number. Now currently I'm not doing anything other than just displaying data on the page. In fact, let's go take a look at that right now. So let's get rid of this. We're just going to go to localhost. See what kind of syntax errors I'm racking up in all this. All right, so uh, line 36, there's something going on. Let me take a look there. Uh, that right there, I believe. Let's see what we got now. All right, so basically by default, See, there's no, there aren't any get variables. So by default, we're going to sort by asset number ascending. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to turn these table headers into links that are clickable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link. So we just do that by href equals, right? And then we'll close that off. 
do the same thing here. A ref equals. We'll finish that part in just a second. All right, so here's where the get variables come into play. Uh, to use get variables, you start off with a question mark. Now we could say index.php question mark and all that jazz, but it's going to append this onto the current link that we're on. Uh, so we can do order equals asset number because we're going to be clicking on the asset number and sort by sort. All right, we're going to do the same thing for this one down here. We'll say order equals SN and sort equals sort. All right, so now let's take a look at our page and see what we've got. Let's refresh. You can see these are now links. And I can now sort by these. However, if I keep clicking on it, it's not changing the direction. And that's because I haven't told it to do that really. Um, essentially the way that we're going to look at this is if it's currently set to ascending, then we're going to change the link to descending. And if it's set to descending, then we're going to set it back to ascending. And I'm going to do this part with shorthand uh, just so I don't take up a lot of room. Um, so essentially I'm going to do this right below where we're breaking in to if our number to whether our if our query works or not that's basically where we're putting this in i'm going to go sort is equal to descending true or false all right so we're going to put a question mark here true or false if it's true then sort is going to equal to ascending if it's not then sort is going to equal descending Okay, so let me run this by you again. Think of this as an if statement. If sort is equal to descending, and here's the question mark, if, then sort is now going to equal ascending. If it does not equal descending, then we're going to make it descending. Okay, those are called shorthand if statements. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh our page one more time and see what happens. So we're currently um, we're currently sorting, the order is the asset number, we're sorting ascending. Whenever I click it this time, it's going to be descending. And you can notice down here at the bottom of the page, if you can see it, that each time we click this, it's going to change the same as it does on top. And then we can do that for the serial number as well. So you can do this with any amount of data on any column in your table that you want. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any problems or questions, leave them in the comments below. Stay creative, and I'll see you guys next time.